When I was in high school, I wanted to be a forensic scientist. When I was in high school, I wanted to be a state trooper. When medical emergencies happen, it falls to a team of emergency medical technicians and paramedics to assess and manage the situation. These professionals are on duty around the clock, ready to respond with care and know-how because for emergency medical responders, saving lives is all in a day's work. I'm Carlene and I'm a paramedic for North Memorial Ambulance Service. North Memorial Ambulance Service provides emergency care and transport to patients throughout our region from bases in Brainerd, Aiken, Walker, Pine River, Longville, and Cross Lake. Statewide, the North team includes nearly 800 trained paramedics, nurses, and EMTs who respond to more than 85,000 calls each year. We're an emergency room on wheels, essentially, just a lot smaller. There's a lot of things that we can do really quickly in somebody's emergency that potentially can make a difference. I grew up in Brainerd. I went to high school at Brainerd High School, and I did PSEO at CLC. My best friend in college was taking the class and she didn't want to take it by herself. And she talked me into taking it and I ended up just falling in love with the job and now it's my career. A paramedic is a trained medical professional who is able to um, give medications, um, interpret EKGs, and we're able to manage airway. We are there to help you with your pain or whatever sickness you're having. We can diagnose heart attacks if they're the bad ones and strokes and stuff like that. We want to get you the help that you need and we are there to help you. So we're not just a ride. I'm Kyle, I'm an EMT with North Memorial Ambulance. The acronym stands for Emergency Medical Technician. So we just deal with treating and uh, transporting patients remotely, whether it's in their home or on the street or the highway, public businesses. And we also are responsible for transferring patients from one facility to another facility. I went to high school in Crosby, Ironton. When I was initially like in high school, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. And I kind of stumbled upon emergency medical services because I didn't know if I wanted to work in healthcare or if I wanted to possibly be a cop. And this was kind of an interesting balance between the two. So I tried it out. It wasn't a huge time commitment as far as the initial like educational requirements to get the certification. So I'm like, well, I'll try this out. And I liked it. I like that it's constantly changing and medical care in general is a constantly evolving field and there's always newer and better ways that we're finding to provide care to people. I've had cardiac arrest patients that have been resuscitated and walked out of the hospital and I've gotten to meet him afterwards. And I had one older gentleman that was like, hey, I was, you know, I, I would have never been able to play with my granddaughter if it wasn't for you guys ever again. So thank you, you know, and that's like, you know, yeah, so that's pretty cool. The career ladder in emergency medical response starts with first responders, who in most cases are volunteers who have completed a 40 hour training course. From there, you can become an emergency medical technician. With more advanced skills and training, you can become a paramedic. And there are also positions for training officers, supervisors, educators, and flight team members. There's also opportunity for what's called community paramedics. And they go out and kind of help people who we take to the hospital often who might need help just managing their medications better or um, you know they've got an infection and it's hard for them to get to the hospital, the community paramedics can come out and help them change their dressings, uh, make sure that they're taking their meds right and just make sure everything's going well. Not every single call is heart-pounding, adrenaline-filled action. Um, a lot of the elderly people that are around here, they're not having super critical, life-threatening accidents every time that they call 911. I mean, one of the most common calls that we get is just, um, little old lady that just needs help. She fell, slid out of her chair. She doesn't have any family that lives around. She doesn't have anybody else to call. So, and I, I like doing that too, because right there, she's having a really bad day and you're the one that gets to knock on her door and go help her up and get about, go about her day. There are careers for EMS providers everywhere. Here in Minnesota, more than 5,000 people work as EMTs and paramedics, and demand for new hires is expected to grow 6% in the next 10 years. 
I started as an EMT, now I'm a paramedic and someday I hope to be a field training officer. You don't necessarily need to go to college to work in EMS. Um, there are training programs through community colleges, um, sometimes privately owned companies or maybe hospitals. When you are ready to get your start preparing for your EMS career, Central Lakes College offers EMS training courses at its campus in Brainerd. CLC has a couple different paths that people can take for, for EMS. They can take uh, the EMT class, which is the, the most common, emergency medical technician. That allows people to get into uh, ambulance work and uh, some emergency rooms. Um, and then some people who are interested in being on the fire department or first response group can take the emergency medical responder class, the EMR class. The EMR course, emergency medical responder course, is a 40-hour course, and that's done in a combination of both online and in-person class. The EMT course is about 160 hours. Most people do EMT in one semester, so it's about uh, three to four months. You can start while you're in high school, but to get your state license through NREMT, you have to be 18 for the EMT. But for EMR, you have to be 16. Being part of the CLC family and, and the EMT program is definitely a career builder and will be a good foundation for your medical career. As a high school student, it's important to start preparing now for your future career. Ask your school counselor about courses and other opportunities that will help you learn more about careers in emergency medical response. I wish in high school that I would have known that this was an option for careers. I might have explored it a little bit more. Um, I recommend maybe taking a CPR class or a first aid class to kind of get some experience and see if it's even something that you're interested in doing. We always say that it's hours of boredom interrupted by moments of complete chaos. And uh, so if you're the kind of person where you just like an unpredictable day and uh, you kind of never know what's going to happen, it's a, it's a good job. You'd like it. If you're sitting in your chair watching this video and thinking, you know, maybe that's something I want to I wanna try. I want to be able to help my community and make a difference in somebody's lives, definitely check out EMS and being an EMT or a paramedic. Choosing a career and educational path after high school is one of the most important decisions you can make. In a time of life when there are more questions than answers, the Bridges Career Academies and Workplace Connection provides information about education and career pathways and gives you the tools you need to make a smart choice. One that's right for you and right for your future. To learn more, visit bridgesconnection.org.